Hello friends. Welcome back to Prohat IT Services. Good to see you back. In this video, we'll learn the steps to create web app. And as you know that there's a prerequisite to create a web app, which is app services. So let's go to Azure and search for web app. So we can see an option of app services. So click on app services. Click on create. We don't have any resource group as of now. So let's create a new resource group with the name of RG01. The web app services that we are creating, it needs to be unique. So let's give a unique name. Maybe we can say web3003. Yep, it is a unique name. Now we need to select the runtime stack. So if in case you have a web app code, which you wanted to deploy, so you can select the runtime stack as per your requirement, but I will not be deploying any code. So I'll select .NET 7. Now on the basis of your requirement, you can select the operating system. If you want, if you have a code which runs on Linux, you can select Linux. And if you have a code which runs on Windows, you can select Windows. For the region, we'll select Australia East. Now, for web app, we need to create the app services. So depending on the app services plan, you can host multiple web apps in one single app services. So right now, it's taking the naming convention automatically. You can click on Create New and select a new app service as per your requirement. So let me create app services with the name of app 3003 and click on OK. So this is the new app service that we are creating. Now we need to select the plan size for app services. Now click on change size. If you want the free, then we can go for dev test and out here we can get F1, which is gonna provide one gig of memory, but you can only use it for 60 minutes in a day and it is free. But you will not be able to see the advanced features if you are opting for free version of it. To go for the advanced versions, you need to select production. And out here we can see that we have features of using the custom domain. We can use SSL, we can auto scale, uh, we have, we can create these staging slots. We can take the daily backup. So all these features we will only get if we are using the S1 onwards or P1, but we will not get all these features if we are going with the free version of it. So for this lab purpose, we'll select S1 and click on apply. Click on next for deployment. So we'll not be integrating our web app with GitHub. So we'll not be enabling this option. We'll leave it as disabled. Click on next for networking. So we'll not be using any network injection. So we'll leave it off. Click on next for monitoring. So as of now, we are not enabling monitoring. We're gonna talk about monitoring in the future videos. But right now we don't want monitoring to be enabled. So I'll select no, click on next, click on review and create, and click on create. It will take a couple of minutes. So I'll be back once it is completed. Welcome back. As we can see that the web app deployment is completed successfully, we'll click on go to resources. In the overview tab, we can see the URL. So let's copy the URL, open the same in the new tab. Okay, so we can see that our web app is running but we don't have any custom build content that we have uploaded on the web app. That's the reason we can see the sample page. 
So out here, the first lap of deploying the web app on Azure portal is completed. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please make sure that you like it, subscribe it and share it. Bye friends, have fun, keep smiling.